TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be live. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Don't forget YouTube and everybody watching. This is my warning. Check it out. You have been warned. Um, don't forget, man, twitch.com. At the bottom of the screen is my username if you want to catch up with previous lives or be ready for the next one. Don't forget we got Patreon and we got merch, man. Link to all of that in the description. I mean, in the, um, not description. Yeah, yeah. I'm tweaking. In the description. Let's get into it. This Police Interceptors. Uh, season 21, Episode 6. I think the first one is. I don't know how they be doing this. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. You get me. See, I be liking these new police interceptors. Whoever doing them, whose channel is this? Lucky F F B D. All right, he got the HD versions. Whoever this is. Three six five twenty four seven. Interceptors are out in numbers, looking for lawbreakers. Cap, cap, cap. They could be clamping down on drink drivers. What the hell are they doing? Or swooping in on an organized sting. Turn your engine off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. But no matter what corner you turn, oh, in West Yorkshire's 2,000 square kilometer patch, stand by for a decom. Odds are the interceptors there, there. are not far behind. Get <laughs> Bro, foot got stuck. He was free and clear until his foot got stuck. Double crew this evening. 422-950. Ben Pearson and Steve Riley in the Mark's BMW 3 Series estate. He might be on four wheels tonight, but in his spare time, advanced driver Benny Boy is a keen motorcycle. Shut up, Ben. List, and he's also partial to a Kit Kat. But there's no time to take a break tonight. Mark, that idiot. So he's taking piss? No, he's not. Does he know where he at? I think he must do. This Honda Accord picked the wrong road to carve up traffic like a Sunday roast. What What do you do wrong? I see a signal. He's using his signal. Why would you do that? He's got mirrors, hasn't he? He's going to go. He's going to go. I guess he is kind of driving fast. Pedal down, activate human megaphone and... Stop your car! After coming face to face with the interceptors, <laughs> Stop. the driver boots it. Bro looked the officer dead in his eyes and said, I'm gone. He's going, he's going. My bad, that's oh, funny. Picture of your 5 2 vehicle failing to stop, Manchester Road. The pursuit is on. X-ray MF52, a vehicle failing to stop. Requesting T-Pack Authority, please. It's a Honda Accord. We are right, right, right onto Spring Mill Street. But no sooner has the pursuit started. Abort, Manchester abort, Road, abort. abort, abort. Wrong way, Manchester Road, back towards city. We're aborting. The driver hammers the wrong way down a one way. Experience confirmed, aborted. But the worst things come to those. That's tough. I ain't never seen a chase get aborted that quick, but you know, when they when they taking chances like that, you gotta abort, right? Those who wait, and Ben and Steve know another unit is lying in wait. Still on the wrong side of the road, the runaway flies past the cops, who are on his tail in no time. Ignoring red lights, he tries to shake them off by pulling a Yui and heading into the city centre. It's not a Yui. While he plays Russian roulette by the casino. Casino? 
Casinos don't lie. Are oh, y'all got casinos in the UK? It don't even feel like y'all gamble or nothing out there. I, like, it feel like it's illegal. I ain't know that. Ben and Steve race to intercept. The other unit keeps the suspect in their sights. Ignoring a road close sign, Kamikaze Honda hits the gas and heads straight for oncoming cars. He survived by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, bro's moving wild. I can't say if I was an officer or put myself in their shoes, but I, I can see. <laughs> I can see the urgency. Now he's bullying his way through the next wave. Oh, bro is reckless. He don't care. He's, he's getting through. I haven't seen him hit like a car yet. Moving dangerous. Red lights. This guy needs stopping before someone gets hurt. Only a few streets away, Ben and Steve are zeroing in. One minute, we can see his lights at the top of the hill. The Honda's not stopping, but it's... One minute, we can see... Bro didn't put gloves on. He didn't have these gloves on before, did he? He must be gearing up to give a beating or something. Like that. The, top of the, hill. the Honda's not stopping, but it's slowing. It looks like he's got a puncture front near side tire. One wheel is running on rims. Yeah, uh, the driver is still desperate to get away. But he's headed down a dead end. This could be game over. Nope. Definitely not. He slipped through the net. The Honda's given them the right run around, but has it got away? Did I tell y'all, like in Chicago, when there's speed bumps, like what that mean? I don't think I tell y'all. Like either there's kids that are always outside playing, so they put speed bumps. Or there's previously been a high-speed chase. And they put the speed bumps. In Bradford, a pack of inter... Gling on... Ben and Steve are just seconds away. It's gone through. Recap. Gone over. The area is crawling with cops. Oh, oh, oh. Ben takes a savvy detour to try to block the driver's route head on. Meanwhile, at the other end of the street, with cop cars blocking his path, the Honda plows onto the pavement and stacks into parked cars. Oh, he finally he hits, he hits the stuff. Yeah. The driver's done a runner. Going that way. But ben and Steve are quickly out of the car and after him in a flash. I don't even see the... Where is it? Oh, it took them on a ch real life chase. He don't come this way. The driver's gone to ground. But he won't be winning any games of hide and seek. Get down! Stay down! Don't have a trip out. Oh, I'm sorry. Got him. Right, well done. Yeah. Finally, they got their man. Come on, lad. Roll this way. Found lurking in a hedge. Turn your bum. He's been parved. Uh huh. They hit him with the parvo. That's mace, right? Parvo. Got anything on you? You shouldn't have. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Your pockets. <laughs> Ah. You absolute hey, dog. I ain't never been maced and I don't never ever want to be maced. Have I been maced? Nah, I ain't never been maced, never want I've been threatened to be maced. I'd rather be tasered than maced any day in the week. Me personally. Kill him. Oh. Yeah, that was yeah. I just don't want to feel that pain. 
Now, I must say, Pava looks less like... You know what I'm saying? It looks less like... It seems less... What's the word I'm looking for? It seems less intense. Like, pepper spray in America? Like, nah, you're gonna be down for the count. This lad's driving like a complainer at all. Um, drop on him, just refuse to stop. This is what Bradford's mentality is right now. People just want to fail to stop. It's a kudos for him. This just put everyone's lives at risk again. Sit in there. You know you're undressed, don't you? Yeah. What kind of question was that? Like, you have a YouTube channel. I might go ask you. Yeah, season 21, episode 6, minute marker 913. Uh, you took Buddy on a high-speed chase, pepper sprayed him, foot chase, put him in handcuffs, put him in the back of the car. Then you proceeded to ask that man, you know you're under arrest, right? Obviously. This is like, why are you stating the obvious right now? Looks like it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Looks like it. Doesn't it? What? 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 <laughs> he said, what have I done? If the parva wasn't bad enough, this might sting a bit. Right, first of all, at the moment, dangerous drive, failed to stop. So you're under caution, you don't have to say anything about me defensive, you don't mention questions, something you let around caught. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. You absolute tool. <laughs> do you understand? Putting lives at risk for nothing. <laughs> While the locals settle in for a little car crash theatre, the culprit gets his blue light limo to hotel custody. You gotta get me in that tiny little room. Look at that. Enjoy. Steve, Ben, and the team take a look at the damage. Is Do we know why he ran yet? Damaged his own car and two innocent members of the public's car. And this is the result. Not entirely sure at this minute why he's evaded us. We'll, uh, we'll no doubt find out at some point. It didn't take the interceptors. Oh, hold on. No, let's 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 start the um editing right now because I don't want to come back in here and long to find six bags of cannabis in the Honda. The driver pleaded guilty to possession of a class B drug and dangerous driving. He was sent to prison for 16 months and banned from driving for 5 years. He got 16 months. For some reason, I just expected him to get like a suspended 12 month sentence or something. He got 16 months real time. And eight months. True. 354 motorcyclists were killed on the roads of Great Britain last year with around 45 bikers injured every single day they are some of the most vulnerable people on the roads very factual statement i have a honda cbr 1000 rr uh you know what i'm saying and i drive it very respectfully of the law late afternoon in manningham CCTV cameras are monitoring traffic lights at a busy crossroads. As the lights turn green, the biker moves off. When suddenly... Oh! oh. A white golf jumps the lights and smashes into the motorbike. Oh, come on, bro. This is ridiculous right here. Light is fully green. Like, what are you even... What are you doing? Instead of stopping, they had gear on though. The motorcyclist has gear on. He ran. The driver makes off without checking to see if his victim is dead or alive. Paramedics work on the biker at the road. I've had a couple people get hit like that, but at stop signs, where like they're like the side street has a stop sign and the, the main street, you just go through. And my buddy was on the main street. Boom. They have uh, more than like five people I know have been hit like that. Side for 40 minutes. The driver capable of this must be found. Yeah, now nah, y'all gotta get him. 
sure I'm uh, three far. Interceptors are on the case. There's been a sighting. A white Volkswagen Golf has been involved in a hit and run, and it's failed to stop. Um, so we're just going to go. Ma'am, who are you? All right, you training? You got on a little, little neon vest. Who are you? Down to the direction that it's heading in to see if we can uh, try and stop the vehicle. Chuck it down here, didn't it? Mm. Rookie cop. Oh, okay. Beth Wood is taking notes from one of the best. Beth Wood. <laughs> but Beth takes Wood. Riding alongside experienced interceptor Stephen Bobo Wright. Bobo? 16 years on the force, Bobo is an advanced driver who's specially trained in carrying out searches, as well as tactics to bring suspect cars to a halt. Why did they give us his rundown? I wanted her rundown. I understand she, this is her new day. I would like to some, see some of her interests. Does she like long walks in the park? Like I, I need, I would like to know. Curious, for the for the people in the chat. There's one car he's desperate to stop today. The hit and run golf that's just come into view. Three Please, four, we've got eyeball. Uh, we are just passing the, uh, the roadside cafe and laybys, approaching Junction Twenty Five roundabout. Bobo needs to keep him in the crosshairs till the cavalry arrives. Three series, it's lane two on the roundabout. Lane two on the roundabout. He's been behind you now, Bobo. And we are indicating for M62, junction 25 east. They suspect that this is the car that wiped out the motorbike. With backup now behind like Bobo, it. they plan to top and tail the golf, flash the blues, and pull over the suspect hit and run driver in convoy. Oh, so like in convoy, okay, so they're like T pack? What's known in the trade as a follow-on. Never heard of that one. Bobo moves in front of the Golf. And another marked car brings up the rear. We've got a follow-on. Uh, it's currently complying. We're going to go for a stop at Hartshead Mall. Yeah, we're just going to quarter him off. Why y'all think bro ran? Somebody in the chat said he probably got priors. Now I'm thinking he might have had some 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 paraphernalia on him that he didn't want to get found, and he had to throw it. But I don't like this. Seems worse. A perfect man. Hit and run on a motorcycle, are you? Maneuver. They guide the suspect to a stop at a service station. Come and take a seat in our car for us, buddy. What is this? What's your name, mate? Is it your car? Yes, it's Enterprise car. Rented. Right. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Still jump, jump in there for me. The driver seems to have no idea about why he's been stopped. You having a good day so far? It's been awesome. It's been this awesome. vehicle's been reported as involved in a failed stop. Road traffic collision in Bradford. Failed to stop? Yeah. No, no, a road traffic collision where the vehicles, yeah. Where the vehicles, uh, the vehicles had a, c a collision with another vehicle and not stopped at the scene. CCTV from just an hour ago is a brutal reminder of a smash it will be hard to forget. But the yeah, driver, there's no way the motorcyclist could have uh, avoided that. I just plain dumb. So you've been driving it all day today. Uh, yeah. All right. You know about this accident? No. Bobo turns the screw and brings up some telltale damage on the Golf's front bumper. Mm. How did it come by the damage on the front of the vehicle? That's already been on car. The little scruff on the front bumper and light. Cracked light, yeah. Enterprise sent the car out like that, did they? Yeah. It's not a rental car, it's a courtesy car. Courtesy car? Yeah. So what, what, what's this all about? Somebody's reported this car's a hit and run, basically? Yeah. So. You're asking too many questions. That's an admission of guilt. When you too inquisitive, that means you did it. Right. Inquisitive word of the day. People write it down, look it up. Ask Siri if you need to. He's maybe trying to style it out, I don't know. He's maybe just trying to be a little bit cool. Or he's not wanting to give anything away. Mm. Try to tell me that he's been given that car from Enterprise without damage on Enterprise. We've never let a car out with damage like that. 
Yeah, they would. <laughs> what? Y'all must have the top tier enterprise around. Yeah, yes, they would. In the city of Chicago, I've seen worse. Bobo radios the officers at the crash scene. So far, he's not admitting that he's even had the collision. He doesn't, he's, he's playing dumb, says he doesn't know what we're talking about. But there is damage to the vehicle, so I'm going to go sort of give him hard word now. Bobo thinks he's being dealt a pack of lies. He's going to play hardball. Anything further? No. Right. I'm going to be straight with you. This car an hour ago has uh, allegedly blown a red light and had a collision with a motorcycle, knocked off the motorcyclist and then gnashed from the scene without stopping, all right? You're telling me you've had this vehicle for two days. The vehicle's got damage on it, all right, which is consistent with what's being said. So we want to speak to you about it. We're happy to do it under a voluntary attendee um, arrangement, which would be you coming down to the police station with us now and my colleague uh, that's been at the accident scene will come down and interview you sort of there and then, all right? The only way he can get in trouble for this is if he tells on himself. That's how I'm feeling right now. That, that's the vibe I'm getting. If he just be quiet and, and continues with the story he has, he could possibly just, you know, skate by. But if he get to... He's his own He's his own worst enemy right now. He could possibly be his own worst enemy. Alternatively, we, we can arrest you for it, stick you in a cell and deal with you as and when. I, I don't want the welcome to come convince you. Yeah. It's just how long is that gonna take? He seems more concerned about his plans for the day than anyone who might be injured. I'm just thinking about the next movie. <laughs> he's still open to go, yeah. Oh done right. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I would not be concerned about the rest of my day as well. If I really didn't do it, like, I can do that. I'm trying to, like, well, how long is this going to take? First, it's Trafalgar House Nick for his interview. One hour later, Bobo's got an update. He's just come out of interview and uh, totally admitted it. So he's gone from sitting in the back of our car, playing dumb, not knowing anything about it and try to style it out to uh, a full and frank confession. He said, yeah, I was the driver. I've seen the car in front of me stop. I've thought, I'm not stopping. And he's gone around him, straight through a red traffic light, uh, and admitted, yeah, sending a motorcyclist up over his car. And then uh, he's, he said, uh, I've panicked and I've driven off because I really needed to go to the toilet. So he's... Uh, <laughs> God, that's the craziest excuse. Uh, that's where he's gone. Thankfully... I mean, I guess he really couldn't lie, toilet. man. So he's... Uh, that's right. Not with this outfit on, like he was just praying. Like, you can't lie, like, like, come on now, that's not haram. I'm already knowing. He's gone. Thankfully, the biker wasn't seriously injured. The driver was convicted of failing to stop after an accident and driving without insurance. He received a 12 month disqualification, a community order, and had to pay 175 pounds. From what my colleagues tell me is that's that's not bad for what happened. Already got some more points pending on his license. That's already got seven on there, so we're definitely looking at a driving ban, um, which is good because we don't want people like that driving on our roads. Or wait, that is haram, right? Wait, how do what? Hey. With access to a fleet of fast motors and the authority to let them off the lead. The speed is 8080 eight miles an hour. The pit team are some of the top guns of West Yorkshire Police. The pit team is the proactive intercept team. We concentrate more on uh, the criminal aspects of the use of the road. But so you, you drug importers, uh, people that ferry money about from, uh, from one place to another or drugs about from one place to another. Driving covert, high-powered cars, they make it their mission to stop suspects in their tracks. There's a fair bit of action involved, which I love, plenty of adrenaline, but we get some fantastic results. It's tea time on the M62. But the only pit stop Steph Lyschuk is interested in is a tip-off about a silver Vauxhall Zafira. We've we'll some information to suggest that this vehicle is uh, travelling north 
with a large commodity of uh, something on board. So that uh, that could be the drugs or cash. Uh, and we're not talking the odds two hundred pounds here. We're talking thousands of pounds. How did they get this into it? Who's okay? And tens of thousands of pounds. Steps, one of the proactive mode? intercept team's best drivers. He's a big fan of 007, but unlike Bond, this action man doesn't work alone. Uh, we've got three units with us today. And then we can put a preemptive box on the vehicle, which basically that means we surround the vehicle with police cars, uh, detain the occupants, and then search the vehicle, and hopefully find in a large amount of cash. Seizing cash from the proceeds of crime is one of Steph's favourite pastimes. And he's not hanging around. What's done with that cash? He's been ordered to plot up by a power station four miles ahead. The 140i Beamer is a beast. Steph reaches the site in a heartbeat. Yeah, we'll stop here as uh, appear like a broken down vehicle. Four miles, not far. Right? Stealth and surprise are the pit team's stock in trade. We're just plotted up near one of the power stations, uh, waiting for this vehicle to pass. Uh, we've got the appearance of a broken down vehicle. Uh, we've got hazard, hazard warning lights on on the hard shoulder. Hopefully this is a good vantage point for us to, uh, to sight it. So, fingers crossed. Don't Homer Simpson work here? Mr. Barnes and them? This is a real life power plant. I ain't never seen this. It's a waiting game. But news soon comes in. We've just put it on astronaut. We should have got to you within six minutes. You might have missed it. Shit. Right, okay. The target passed before Steph arrived. With a big stash of cash at stake, can Steph make up for lost time and stop the car? Oh no, he had to stop and wait there too. Interceptor. Steph pitched up to wait for. But I'm missed not need a recap. Minutes. I'm sorry. Back on the road, the Zephyr has been spotted up ahead, but it's miles away. There's a risk they'll lose him, so it's maximum warp. Is this a BMW here? 44 northbound. We're just uh, approaching, just past, past 42, and we're now approaching 43. The target is two junctions away, but with 340 horses eating up the road, Steph's practically travelling through time. With two minutes. All right, relax. Behind it. This is not Marty McFly. Oh, that's good editing. And after testing the limits of his speedo, we may have a positive sighting. There is a silver Zephyr in front of us, uh, one car for cover. Steph finally has eyes on the target car. He's doing 100, 100 at the moment. Speeding's the least of the suspect's worries because hidden in traffic. Wait, are y'all um, miles per hour or y'all uh, whatever the other one is in the UK? I forget. Was he really going 160 miles per hour or was he going 100 and and pH, dang. All right. Traffic, the covert pit team cars are fast approaching. All units uh, with bronze two, move up, move up, move up, close up, please. Uh, and then we'll put a strike in. And it's action stations. Bronze two, strike, strike, strike. Steph glides in front of the Zephyra, whilst three other pit team cars surround it. Its driver doesn't know what's hit him. Still where you are! Still where you are! Uh, keep your hands where I can see them. Keep your hands where I can see them! He didn't even have time to take a fag out of his mouth. <laughs> he didn't even have time to take a fag out of his mouth. That sounds crazy to me. He didn't have time to take a what out of his mouth? Balls, first and foremost. Hans, Hans, keep your hands where we can see them. You've been told. It's a slick operation. 
In seconds, the suspect is out of the Zafira and led away. Bro is not, there's no way he's trapping goods across county lines. He is not money laundering. Y'all got the wrong person. Hey, my life, keys on, keys on top, man. Yeah, no worries. Bro got hair here all the way around to this side and nothing up here. Ain't no way. Let, let's take it off and reopen carriageway. And in minutes, driver, car and pit team have vanished from the motorway. You'd never even know they were there. Two miles away in a more secluded spot, they go to town on the target motor. The pit team are experts on where criminals stash things away. But jobs like these depend on accurate intel. Y'all need to call a dog in. I don't have no trust on you and y'all. We'll have to slide the whole thing. I think it's cat. They turn the Zafira inside out. We'll lift that seat up. Lift the seat back up. And hidden in the passenger footwell. There's two bags under there, under the fold away seats. Bingo. What, that's cash? Steph does the honours. Come on, let the, there's cash. Got it done. Hold on now, is there cash? Wow! Evening, Your Majesty. Mixture, mixture of fifties, twenties, tens. It's a cash. I, I mean, I guess that's the whole point, you know. Get a guy like that who looks, who can fly by radar, put him in a minivan, and be unsuspected. Bonanza. Two bags packed full of notes. Not a bad evening's work for the pit team. Are, are, are those a thousand bundles then? A quick roadside tot up. Yep, 25 grand so far. Shows the car was carrying around 53,000 pounds. Yeah, there's a good wedge there. Investigations into the suspected criminal cash are ongoing with Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. If, as suspected, it turns out to be the proceeds of crime, then all 53 grand will be forfeited to the crown. Bro could order, like, he could really, like, own, like, he could really be running a business and, 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 you know what I'm saying? He could be running a business and the proceeds to that legal business, he could be do going to go make a deposit right now. Down. Good job, that done there, Lenny. Well done. West Yorkshire interceptors serve more than two million people. Thank you. Cheers. But not everyone is always happy to see the boys in blue. Oh, my. A public servant, yeah? Oh, here we so go. So behave like a public servant, all right? Here we go. Yeah? Some people will just inherently not like police officers. He's not wrong. And as soon as they see the uniform, it antagonise them. You know, fat ball bastards want not roll. Absolute lying piece of shit. You liar! Liar! I think there's a different outlook on police officers now in police service than what, what they were 20 years ago, 30 years ago. People had respect for police. Yeah, I appreciate time change, but there's, there's no respect for police officers anymore. Stop! Well, I'm, I'm almost positive that you could see why, though. It's the witching hour, and interceptors Dave Robbo Robson and Gav Pearson. The what hour? Are on the hunt for a familiar face. Who's Why did I hear so much like? UK terminology in this one episode. It's all new. Car has been seen nearby. I've been doing this for too long to not know all of the terminology. You talking about the witch hour? What is that? We've had some interactions with him before. He is quite a character. Um, quite anti-police and does get a bit aggressive, doesn't he? Um, don't like police at all. It's fair to say this former soldier, whose hobbies include martial arts, freestyle fighting, oh. and fitness, knows oh how to God. handle himself. He's gonna be a try-hard. I know he's a try-hard officer. But hopefully that won't be necessary tonight. The plan is to stop the car 
for a con- even if it's not necessary. He, I, I, okay, now I'm getting the vibe that he's gonna escalate the situation. You know how the police officer's job is to de-escalate. He's gonna come in, escalating. Um, I grow free chat. I could be wrong though. Hopefully, I'm wrong. There is. There's two up as well. The target streaks past, and Robbo puts the Beamer three series through its paces. You can see how, the, how his driving is as well. He's quite sharp in his actions. Hopefully, the driving doesn't reflect the man's mood. Just stay, stay in Robbo while I go out, mate. All right. He's pulled up, good as gold, and Gav heads out to get reacquainted. Engine off, please. All right, buddy. All right. I can smell a real strong smell of alcohol coming from this I, car. I've had that, mate. Have you been drinking, bud? No, we haven't. I've had that. Right, I'm not talking to you. I'm speaking to the driver. Escalated. Told you. Told you. Car. I've had that, mate. Have you been drinking, bud? No, we haven't. I've had that. Right, I'm not talking to you. I'm speaking to the driver. Come on, breathalyse me, fella. OK. Anyway, All so right. Do you want to just jump out? Factual statement. Do you think I'm drinking? Just breathalyze. The driver knows the ropes and hops out for a breath test. Calm yourself down. I'm calm, mate. I'm calm. Calm yourself down. What are you doing that for? You're doing that again? I've got asthma. All oh, right, I'm sure you haven't. OK. Yeah, I mean, this is not you wanna, if you want to check. Don't take him yeah. back, Robo. Gav stays with the passengers, a man and a pregnant woman. Don't you worry. While Robbo takes the driver to their cop... He not even, like... Escalate, like I feel like he is a little. His just demeanor is just. His his demeanor is irritating. Car. Just a little Hopefully bit. He'll have enough puff for the breathalyzer. Right, We're talking about I got asthma. <laughs> I get it now. I understand why he's saying that. Could put a breathalyzer. You blow on top until I tell you to stop. A bit harder. That's fine. Thank you. Oh, we got. Just saying you failed. It's only just over. He's over the prescribed limit, which is 35. Come on, tell me it's reading. 43. 43. Dang, boy, you 0.8 over. By the time you get to the station, though, you're going to be under. 100%, right? It normally dropped like 0 0.6, 0 0.8. And he can't wait to tell his friends the news. Just wait there, Paul. Just wait there. Ignoring both Robbo and Gav. 43. Get in. And what's wrong with you? Get in. Hey, don't get don't violent you, with Don't you start. Face. Told you. Did he, did he jump out the car? Wait. Just wait there, Paul. Just wait there. Ignoring both Robbo. Oh, yeah, he hopped out. Okay, I get it. I got it. Gaff. 43. Get in. And what's wrong with you? Get in. Hey, don't get don't violent you, with Don't you start. Face. Don't you start with me. <laughs> All right. He's not. Behind your back. No, you're not. Yeah. Is this legal? This not legal. You're not behind you're your back. No, you're not you're getting out of the car. That's me nicely, you wanker. You tense up with me, lad. I'm, I'm not, not gonna let you go anywhere. Trying to set something that you know it. Hand on throat is excessive force, 100 percent I'm opening up the case. If I was this dude and this episode aired, I would have 100%. I don't care. Hold on, go back. Let me see. How long was that hand right there? Good. Get in. Hey, don't get don't violent with don't me. You start, don't you start. Don't you start with me. You're All right. You're not, don't you start. One, one thousand. Don't you start two, with one me. thousand. Three, one thousand. Four, one thousand. You're like five seconds now. Come on now. I need a million for every second. <laughs> no, you're not you're getting out of the car. That's me nicely, you wanker. You tense up with me, lad. I'm, I'm not, not going to let you go anywhere. Try to set something that you know better. Got that one. Get you. I'm not feeling really like that, you. He's under control, but they can't restrain his silver yeah. tongue. Are you going to that's me right or what, you prick? You wanker. What's your problem? Got it. Trying to got talk it. to them. Yeah, get a van. You can't get out the car though. Like you gotta wait for them. This reunion party isn't going so well. 
And the guest of honour won't play nice. Do you learn to me? Why are you so aggressive? Because hey. of that. Hey. That's why. Do you think you can get away with this in life, do you? To people. Here, twist me hands up. That's all. Here, bring me hands. Not doing up. Kill me, a wanker. Kill me. Yep. Gams. Uh oh. And the chat said they didn't detain him. Yes, they did detain him. That's why they put him in the cuff, in the car. They detained him when they put him in the car, right? Met his fair share of charmers, and this is water off a duck's back. I expected him to be hostile straight away. It's what he always. And I expected you to be overly aggressive and and escalate right away too. I guess everybody's right. It is. Um, you, you could see as soon as he got out that bit of swagger and that thing he had about him. Um, you do get it. It's no skin off my nose. While the passengers walk home... <laughs> Are you going to behave? I've been behaving all the time. Silvertongue gets led to the van. He's been a bit uh, mouthy, hasn't he? He's uh, not been a nice chap. I think Colin's every name under the sun. Very unpredictable. Driving... On a I feel like this is all a plan. He could have the IQ level, genius level IQ right now. He could just be buying time for when he gets to the station to blow under that point through five. The road is over the prescribed limit. And one of the passengers in his car was a pregnant female. It could so easily crash and cause serious injury to the unborn child and to the female, never mind anyone else around. Right, listen in, buddy. Having found a cannabis grinder in the car, Gavs also found time to fit in a drug wipe before they set off for the nick. In your system. All right, so what I'm going to ask you to do is rub the tongue. Bro couldn't take, one of them couldn't take the grinder. Like they... Rub your tongue around the inside of your mouth, please. And then stick your tongue out. Right, all right, to rock and roll. At custody, the driver blew under on the breath test machine. And despite Told you, under. The roadside drugs wipe coming back positive for cocaine, a nurse was unable to get an evidential blood sample. So no legal action was taken against him for drink or drug driving. His drug use will be reported to the DVLA, who could take away his license. Gavin, I knew he was coming back sober. 0.43, they might as well let that go. Because by the time you get back to the station, it's, it's, it's under. Robbo remain philosophical. Is what it is. Accept it, move on. That's real goat behavior, no, no cap. And I would open a lawsuit just for, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it'll come again. They always do. Coffee time. He hurt. Time. They Good hurt. Time. Yeah, coffee time. He dang, I just body slam buddy for no reason. Huh? Interceptors aren't just... Yeah, as soon as I would have hit the ground, I would have called an ambulance, please. 100%. My body hurt. <laughs> armed with fast cars and the latest... Where are you hurt? My whole body. Please call an ambulance. Crime-fighting tech. Simple. They're also gifted with a sixth sense. I think 95% of cops have got it. You just know when something's not right. Hey, stand up on back of your neck. You look twice at it and... You just, you just know what to look for. This is Batley. I'm just a bit How you say this? B A T L E Y? I'm asking y'all like y'all can fit. Never mind. I'm just a bit bashful. Right, mess that. And the interceptor intuition is strong in Claire Gray and Matt Douglas. So far, so good. So far, so good. It's a rookie cop. He looks like a pet groomer. Y'all got PetSmart or Petco out there? You know how they got that little glass room and they put your dog on a little table? And they... That's, this is what he looked like he do for a living. I'm just saying, like, that's what I would picture him as. Or like a 
like in the bakery shop, like the baked goods of Asda or something, like the bread area and the cake area. Just given that. But salute though, this is a great choice of work. The driver pulls over, eagerly hops out of his car. Yeah, right, pal. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you want to come and yeah. grab, grab a yeah. seat in the back of here? And joins Claire and Matt in theirs. Hello. 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 Right? You all right? Yeah, not bad. Are you? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank Good. you. Uh, reason of stature yeah. is because you, your car looks a bit tatty, really. Um, yeah, is it your problem. car? Yeah, 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 it's my car. It's all right. Just it's amazing. Everything appears to check out. The other reason as to why we stopped is that we both noticed you seem to be sort of drifting um, along the road. Ah. Uh, right. you, you... Thought we were going right, and then now because I'm fine, sat now. Okay. But, yeah. Claire's guilty pleasure is watching cruising with Jane McDonald. And this driver could be in deep water if he's got retail manager. Got something to hide. Sixth sense of tingling. Claire's got a hunch. He looked like dude from uh Brothers. What's dude? From the brothers where the mom married the the husband or the the woman and the two grown sons was <laughs> made bunk beds. What's that actor name? He looked like dude. Have you had any cannabis today? No. Do you use cannabis? No. I could smell something, that's all. The whiff of weed plus dodgy driving equals a nailed on drug wipe. Say, ah. Uh. So basically, I rub this on your tongue. We wait eight minutes. I must warn you that failure to provide to give me the sample is an offence on its no, own. I'll give you, and you would be, you would be. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Do, you, do you agree to yeah, yeah. do it yet? So yeah. stick your tongue out. He's happy to oblige. So Claire puts him to the test. Yeah. Okay, okay, so just stick your tongue out for yeah, me. Yeah, that's you. While well, Matt contacts Control to check the driver is who he says he is. That's the same, innit? That's you. Yeah. That's you, yeah. yeah. How long ago were that then? Uh, a while ago now. Will Ferrell, there we go. Bro, look like Will Ferrell in the back. 2011, that. You've not changed a bit. What uh, what skin cream do you <laughs> use? You haven't aged. I use um, aloe vera. Ah, okay, aloe vera. I'm gonna start using that because. From watching, from watching so many videos, my eyes be squinting, and things of that nature. Never mind, I'm I'm still good. Never mind, I'm not gonna start. Right, you know, yeah. I'm just winded, so yeah, I'm just getting. Bet you do. As long as that's all you got growing in your house. <laughs> I'm not that <right>, adapt. <laughs> this stop seems to be going swimming. I honestly don't use nothing. I don't use no face cream. I don't use. The only time I wash my face with soap is when I get in the shower. Other times it's just hot water. I don't put nothing on my face, man. No pimples, no none of that for me either, man. You know, we just living pimple free out here. Mingly. Just gonna have a look at No yeah. wrinkles, no Pats nothing. Their sixth <laughs> sense was off. To dot the I's and cross the T's, Matt checks out the motor. It's just a bit mucky, really. While Claire waits for the results. Yeah, just thought I'd have a little drive out. And, you having a tar uh, around your mate's house is due today. This interceptor puts the Claire in clairvoyant. Okay. Is there anything in the anything in car that there shouldn't be? No. Oh dear. Facts. There's oh something. my god. Stop. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Suspect in the footwell, and it's not aloe vera. How long are they going to show the paraphernalia? The driver's telling Porky's, and eagle-eyed Claire doesn't miss a trick. Is there something in that car? Yeah, oh, look at like the look at something. You must know it's your, it's your car. Their instinct was bang on. Oh, there's another stash under the seat in a big bag. Yeah. We made it this it far, is, man. A, a, a plastic sandwich type bag. Full of uh, in phones of and everything. Snake there. keeps ringing him as well. Um, yeah, I mean, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Probably about you 20, count it, 20 like? dealer bags in there. Another ten on the floor. It's about thirty wraps of. Uh, Look at my editor for once. I'm not editing nothing. Look and at this. Beamer, the drugs wipe results are in. All right. 
let's get one thing clear while we're on this platform right now. I am one of the best editors on this platform, as you can see by my work. Come on now. It's negative. My reflexes are just kind of slower. It's negative. Yeah, it's negative. So that one's okay. Is there something in that car? Where it might be. Is there? Okay. You going to go check it out too? It's clean as a whistle. But the same can't be said for his car. What's up with car? Uh, there's a... Uh... Uh, uh, an amount of cannabis in there, right. a fair amount, right. um, uh, like a sandwich bag type, full of little dealer bags. Right. Uh, probably say peewits. Right. So, yeah. So on the way I could buy an ounce. At this, uh, at this moment in time, <laughs> uh, under arrest. <laughs> hey. Oh man, buddy, back there, funny as. Real well feral energy. That's Especially funny. If, uh, possession with intent to supply cannabis. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, okay. With the driver bedded down for the night in custody on okay. suspicion of dealing, next thing on the interceptor's to-do list is to search his house for evidence. He's going to the crib. He got a grow on here, guaranteed. Hello, please. And there's a surprise waiting for them upstairs. Ta -da. It's a grow, y'all. Has Claire found the stash of aloe vera? Yeah, it's a grow. It's, it's clearly here. He has been growing cannabis. It's raggedy. Uh, and there's a couple of plants. Yeah, it's, it's raggedy, y'all. Centimeters tall. They've died because he's not looked after them. So he we got scales and stuff. Um, asking what his reasons for having all this equipment set up for. Yeah, what's the reason? Best editor on the platform coming back to the you live and direct. Naturalist admitted to possession of cannabis. He got a conditional caution on the proviso that he accepted support to tackle his drug use. No action. That's the raggedy grow house, y'all. The suspected cultivation. The dead plants. Supply of cannabis. They dead. Going up. It's actually signaling. You know what I'm saying? You, when you when you one of the best editors on the platform, you find little ways to make the editing fun. You you just blank the screen and you describe what's there. You get what I'm saying? Wet wood. <laughs> oh no, is it's that wet? Uh, wheat wood? What is that? Cloned vehicle. W e e t wood. Been sighted at the top side of Leeds, so we'll head up there. There's a, there's a few units going to look oh, for it, so hopefully one of them will drop yeah, it. Lee. Interceptor Dan Robson is an advanced driver who's got real beef with oh, car yeah, thieves, yeah. so he should enjoy what's on the menu tonight. Out with Ryan Main, they're on the lookout for a silver Corolla, which was pinched 10 days ago and is now running on false plates. Right, with any luck, it should come here. Dan lies in wait as a roundabout along the route they think the cloned car is travelling. And within seconds of plotting up... That's it, there we go. Dan needs to shadow the stolen motor until so more units arrive to help with the box. We're behind it, Green Road at West Park at Lawnswood going past the school to the near side. When a suspect spots a cop car behind them, they'll often go to extreme lengths to escape the interceptor's clutches. Some hit the highway. Speed 100, 100 miles an hour. Some ram to get away. But surprisingly, Dan's suspect... 6-1, no deviation. ...heads for the Golden Arches. McDonald's? It's actually signaling to turn into Mackey's at West Park. And it's committed into Mackey's. Hungry to take away a suspected car thief, Dan follows the Corolla into the drive through and keeps other units updated. <laughs> Bro, just trying to get a double cheeseburger, like, chill. We're behind it in the drive through now, and it's balked by uh, another BMW. We won't try and do anything yet, just in case he decides to drive into the BMW, but if you just hang fire at the entrance, 
let the beamer go past and then uh, we can block Y'all it. Y'all finna let bro order his entire meal. Get it, check the receipt to make sure they charged them right. Check everything is there. Dip one fry in some barbecue sauce. Take a bite maybe. Then pull them over like that's petty. Don't take me to jail because I'm going to be mad that I just spent this 836 and you're going to take me to like, chill off there. Like, chill. Backups arrived, but they need to sit tight until the Corolla reaches the front of the queue. Then they can strike. Look at bro. He pulling up his McDonald's app right now. Like, let me get something. <laughs> I see you, Rook. Do your thing. Dan places his order. We just have to this car in front of us, that's all. Right, Beamer's moving off so you can come and take its place. They should have went to go to the warning. And it's ready for collection. You'll have to be quick. Dang, the whole drive through What about the customers behind y'all, though? Like, I, they didn't took my order. I can't even back up or nothing. The second unit blocks the stolen car into an interceptor sandwich. Draw, that is selfish, y'all bogus. With a side of cuffs. How are you gonna open the door? Sounds. Probably on the door, buddy. Yeah. Right down, Come have a seat in this car, fella. You got anything on you you shouldn't have? We'll make sure they don't pour no. Is it your car? No, I just bought it. You just okay, bought a uh, weapon. All right, decent. Jump in there, pal. I don't need to edit right here. The passenger in the stolen car is also cuffed. I honestly thought at least they would pull up and wait for them to come all the way out, but I guess not. Right. At this point in time, you're under arrest on suspicion of theft of that car. Huh? Ah, there we go. You don't have to say anything but moment of defense. Listen, you don't have to say anything but moment of defense. If you don't mention one question or something, you let me line in court. Anything you do say may be in evidence. The driver claims he bought the car a few days ago, so hasn't got it insured yet or got a driving license. But right now, his dinner is his main priority. I do my food and pay for it. I'll get my money back. Nothing left. Hey, listen. I feel you 100%, bro. You're not wrong. They should have got you before you, you know what I mean? Pop scour the Corolla. He's claiming to have just bought it, but he's in a stolen car. They found a pile of goodies in the back. Hold on. Wait. I didn't pile of and goodies. It's not chicken nuggets. What have we got? Abbas, Robots. Cracks. Right. Gloves. That's a going equipped if ever you saw one. Alright. So yeah, it's a little treasure trove of uh, burglar's toolkit. What's been going to There's brand new stuff there, boss. I'm doing my garden. <laughs> Dan yeah. doesn't buy the green. Bro, tell you what I'm doing my garden. Come on, bro. You don't know what you, you don't even know how to. You don't know what dirt to use. You ain't out here making. You know what I'm saying? Educated guesses on what tomato is what and what grows under what conditions you know you know green fingered driver's story you also on the rest on suspicion of going equipped all right now i remind you that you're under caution why would he go to mcdonald's with all of that on him you know man like everything is a risk take some of the risk off yourself when you drop that stuff off it's apparently a keen gardener but i don't think i've used crowbars for gardening before Instead of a happy meal, both the driver and passenger will be checking out the room service menu in custody. I thought it's going to do one, but I was amazed when he came in the drive-thru and then actually ordered food. And he sat in a stolen car with a load of uh, stupidity gear. So I can't believe it. After a thorough investigation, there was insufficient evidence to link the driver or passenger to stealing the car or going equipped. And no further action was taken against them. Going equipped. However, the driver has been reported for driving without a license. Well, you got caught with six coral bars, an axe, all that, and there was no evidence? Or insurance. Salute. Can't believe he didn't run. Nah, I'm amazed. Oh, please! 
Ah, ah, ah. Okay, this is the next episode. All right. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I was fully entertained. I'm gone now.